Hey, comic book community, Lumbox Love Affair here. I have another haul here of a new collection that I purchased. So I got a really great deal. So I bought from this person before and they had several long boxes they were looking to offload. So I looked at what they had. Um, I thought it was a, a decent deal and, and the rest is history. So I'm probably gonna have to do two videos to show off the books. Um, there were some definite keys in here. Not crazy, crazy stuff, uh, but it's all modern. Uh, from the 90s, most likely to 2000s, somewhere around there. Um, and uh, I, was, I was happy to, to pick this up. So before I get into these books, I was recently on a live stream on Geek Aficionado's channel, and it was one of his uh, uh, what, what do you hunt uh, type of uh, streams that he has had over, over the past several months. And it was myself, Magic Lasso, and Comic Mags and Musings. So make sure you check all those guys out. Check out the live stream. I'll put the link in the description below. Um, it was a super fun chat. It was about an hour. Uh, so feel free to catch that if, you, if you're if you so inclined. Um, and then uh, for my channel, uh, if you're new to my channel, hit that um, subscribe button, hit that thumbs up if you like what you see, and leave a comment down below and let me know what you think of the books. Um, like I said, these are gonna be 90s, modern, 2000s books, nothing crazy. Uh, I'm gonna start off with some uh, low-hanging fruit just because Justice League, uh, the Snyder Cut just came out. Um, and these are, these, I've actually had these books. Um, uh, th these were not part of the collection. Uh, so they're the, the Black Superman costume, first appearance of that costume. And actually I have that in a newsstand. Um, so I don't know how much rare that is, but it's kind of cool to have these books. Um, what I should also say is uh, most, if not all of the books I'm gonna be showing are going to be put on eBay. Um, moving some books around, seeing what I have. Uh, and, and they're books from this collection that I purchased as well as some other books I just had piling around. Um, so uh, also in, the, in these box, well, so to start off these boxes, uh, some Black Panther books. So uh, some uh, of that series, gosh, late 90s, early 2000s, the Priest series, 43, 44. This is, uh, I believe, the first stealth armor. It's with him versus Iron Man, and that's that armor. So um, pretty cool covers, cool, especially these covers, these books. I, I, I love this cover for some reason. I'm, it's very minimalist. Um, just kind of a, a cool book. Uh, also was happy to get the final two issues of that series, Black Panther 61 and 62, right? Yeah. Uh, and this is where uh, I think it's um, the guy's last name is Cole, Kevin Cole, I think. Uh, his, uh, he, he turns from Black Panther into the White Tiger because um, I think he took over the mantle of Black Panther when they were trying to switch things up at Marvel in the late 90s. Uh, of course, T'Challa came back. Uh, was excited to find these. I remember buying these off the, the, the rack at the comic store in the early 2000s. Teen Titans number one, the Michael Turner variant. Love this book. Um, number two and number three. Got Cassie Wonder Girl on there. These were interesting to find and I had to do a little bit of research and I think I found out what these are. So um, Cerebus. I've, I've never been a, a collector of Cerebus. So Cerebus Zero and it's signed down here. Dave Sim, the creator. Uh, and then the gold version of it, also signed. And then we have the World Tour book, 1995, also signed. These, I believe, were from a Kickstarter campaign that he did. Uh, and then uh, this, and the reason I think so is because I, I have this, which is Cerebus in the Spawn costume. Forgive the bag, it hasn't been changed out for who, who knows how long. Um, signed print. Uh, and then in the back, there was a card, and it just said, thank you for contributing to the Kickstarter campaign. Um, so those are different. I've, I've never collected Cerebus. I've never read it. It's an acclaimed indie series. Um, and uh, yeah, so I've, I've threw that on, on eBay to see if people were interested. Um, a couple mangaverse. So we got the Punisher, which is a female Punisher, and Ghost Riders. Uh, looks like you got Werewolf by Night, Ghost Rider, Hellstrom. Uh, different uh, era of comics that I was not collecting at this time. For all you Avengers and WandaVision enthusiasts, and, and that should be most of you, I would imagine, um, got some Vision, uh, his limited series. This is a Avengers Icon series, uh, Vision 1 through 4. So that's pretty cool. And then I was happy to find a set of Avengers Disassembled. This is the prelude to House of M. Uh, so we got uh, when Wanda just goes crazy. And these are amazing David Finch covers. This is around the time when David Finch started taking off. Um, 
one of these Avengers will die, and we all know, well, most of us know which one that was. Uh, the last issue of the series, and then the finale, which sort of wrapped everything up. There were a lot of great chunks of storylines and series in this in these boxes. Uh, it was about three boxes, three or four boxes. Um, I did some condensing because they weren't completely full. Um, so there was a, there was a great set of uh, Amazing Spider Girl books and some uh, like Amazing Spider Girl the End number one. Um, and this this is issue zero and this is issue one, the um, black and white variant. Also, there was a, a bunch of um, ecstatic. Uh, L, oh gosh. Um, Mike Allred's series. Uh, so very different style. Uh, almost looks a little bit like the Silver Surfer Black um, uh, artwork. It's not the same artist. But uh, they went from X-Force to Ecstatic. And I think in some ways they're trying to get away from X-Force to stop paying Rob Liefeld. Uh, Exiles. So there was a lot of Exiles in there. Chunks of sets. Exiles number one. I remember loving this series. Uh, I picked up a bunch of them at a con back in like 2002. Um, and then... Uh, I have the, the, so many copies of this book. This is the uh, professed uh, prototype of Department H or Weapon H, um, which was a big thing several years ago, but um, he's somewhere on this cover. It's a combination of Hulk and Wolverine. Um, he, not the exact same character, but a lot of people were specking on this book. It's still a nice book. It's a cool cover. I really love that. Anyone who loves Wolverine loves this cover. But... Uh, that character has just disappeared. No, who, who the heck knows what, he, what he's doing. Something different, um, issue one and three of The Chosen. I couldn't find issue two in there. Um, this is a, a Mark Millar um, uh, character who apparently has the same powers as Jesus. So uh, th this, I'm sure, was a little controversial. For our Captain America and Winter Soldier fans, not the keys that everyone are looking for, but issue one and, and is this two? Yep, she wanted to Bart Sears cover. Uh, he bulked them up. Avengers West Coast 100. You got Mephisto fans going crazy. So there you go with that. Some 90s holofoil uh, cover goodness there. Uh, and then there were a bunch of like uh, pinup cheesecake type of uh, cover art that everyone loves. So like a whole run of Emma Frost. So this is issue number one. Um, Greg Horn cover, right? Yeah, Greg Horn. Uh, a whole run of Emma Frost in there. There was a good chunk of Mystique books. I pulled this one out because I like the colors. Um, the six arms freaked me out, but uh, the, the rest is uh, pretty cool. And then there was a good run of She-Hulk. Uh, She-Hulk, number one, this is a uh, Eddie Granoff cover, I believe. Um, yep. So uh, a good run of, of that um, in there, which is awesome. I love this next series fantastic four or actually i'm sorry future foundation so this is issue number one two which is a killer doom cover david acuna cover uh and issue number three also a cool cover uh these books i used to have i sold the set years ago um it was a great read great read um and i only think there were three of these issues in there the person must have stopped collecting right after that there was also a DC comic event that uh, happened around 2000, uh, and this was called the Silver Age. So this is just one of the books I'm going to show you. Um, they did Silver Age versions of the characters. Um, I'm not quite sure what the exact reason was for it, but uh, they had these independent issues that all were written and drawn as if it was done in the Silver Age. One of my favorite Ed McGuinness covers this is Superman Bizarro. This is the, the, the first new Bizarro, I believe. Um, there you go. Uh, super cool cover. Uh, Superman in a black costume theme here. Uh, this is Superman 160. Also, uh, there's you know, DC Comics connected to Looney Tunes at some point, probably because of their WB connection. So Superman and Bugs Bunny, one through four. Um, really? This, they also had a Green Lantern uh, Aliens um, 1 through 4 in there. That's pretty cool with the, the duck. Um, and so the, the, the crossovers are a little, a little crazy to me. Also in there was a 1 through 3 of Hero Bear, Hero Bear and the Kid. It's a little bit of a tongue twister, to be quite honest. Um, 
there's a couple different covers for this. These are near mint beautiful. A lot of these books were really great condition. Uh, so that was, that helped guide my decision. Um, but, uh, you know, these books, um, we'll see. You know, I'm sure there are people interested in the storyline. I've never read it. And then there's a whole lot of talk about Heroes Reborn these days. So um, the one of the originals Heroes Reborn uh, storylines, there's a whole set of those in, in this in this um, in this box. The Punisher, there's some great Ennis, Garth Ennis Punisher books. Um, and who's the artist? Steve Dillon. Yep. Uh, cool, cool cover there. Secret War. This was the only Secret War in that in that box. Um, so Secret War number one. I've never seen this before, but it's the question. Question one through five. Dusty bag, but uh, cool cover. It looks almost Sinkovitz. It might be, actually. Uh, it's not his interior art, but it's the introducing the questions. Uh, so uh, it's almost, it's pre-Vertigo DC Comics. So that was pretty cool to find. And just one through five of those. Uh, Superman Red Sun. I love this cover. Uh, so got, this is issue number three, but just wanted to show this one off. Was super excited to find this book and then realized it was the third print. Vengeance of Bane, uh, number one. First appearance of Bane, uh, the, the guy who broke Batman's back. Cool Glenn, Glenn Fabry cover. Um, Prelude to Nightfall. This is the third print. You can tell by the, the light blue, and it says it on it too. It has a Roman numeral three right there. Uh, and then I picked up uh, in there also the the sequel uh after the fact vengeance of bane 2 the redemption and since we're on a bane kick there are a couple cool bane covers in there so uh secret 6 35 and 34 nice homage to breaking the back of the bat uh and last but not least um one of my favorite artists uh back in the early 2000s was frank quietly uh probably because of his new x-men run but I uh, got this uh, Batman and Robin, number one, two, and three. So this has been a smattering of, of what's in those boxes. There's just too much to show everybody. I'm not going to subject any, anyone to watch that, and I don't think anyone wants to watch all of that. Uh, but um, I'm going to have another video that shows a bit more of the keys. All of these books, um, I have had time to put on eBay, and, and they're up there now. Um, I put auctions up every Sunday. Um, usually. Uh, and so these next books that I'm going to show in the next uh, video are ones I haven't posted quite yet, uh, but probably will in the near future. So thanks for checking out this video. Like I said, if you're new to my channel, subscribe, hit that thumbs up, and then comment down below. Uh, I'd love to see what you all thought about this haul. Like I said, a little bit of everything for everybody that is into modern comics. Uh, and if you're not into modern comics, I don't know why you're here. Uh, no, it's all good. I do uh, modern silver, bronze, and copper books. Um, so this is that. This is modern is the focus of this one. So thanks for watching. Take care, and see you next time. Bye bye.